What is going on there guys, Kempi here. I'm back today on this Monday afternoon to show you the January transfer window for Manchester United. We have just got into it after the, on the back of the World Cup. If you haven't seen that episode, there's a whole World Cup special last off. The support has been fantastic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. We have brought in a star striker and also got rid of the old star striker. Ronnie is gone. He's not had a game for us this season. He's gone. And Evan Nilsson is the man that I have brought in. And let me show you some of this guy's stats. The guy looks fantastic. Um, I've gone into the game against Leeds, pre-recorded. Did it completely wrong, so I'm back. <laughs> Forgot to change scene from the intro scene. So that's, that's a big thing. Um, but Evan Nilsson looks fantastic. Uh, 16 finishing, 16 composure, 16 balance. Decent pace. Um, he's the best striker at the club by far compared to Rashford and Martial. Uh, the team we've gone with against Leeds is something that I really, really need us to get a win. It is a 4-2-4, but I shall go into that. Um, we've come back off the World Cup, scraping a win against Coventry, getting absolutely battered by West Ham and scraping a draw against Fulham. Um, I'm completely out of ideas at this point. I have tried everything. A 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1, I've tried asymmetric. Uh, last game was the first time I tried two up front and I quite liked it. Um, that's how we scored against Fulham in the last half hour. We were on top and dominated. Um... I just, I'm completely lost. But we really, really, really need to get something out of this game today against Leeds. Uh, their team is going to be Meslier, Aylin, Laurente, Cooper, Christensen, Forshaw, Rocker, Harrison, Aronson, Sinistera and Bamford. That was quick. And ours is De Gea, Wambasaka, Varane, Martinez, Malasia, Casemiro, Fernandez, Sancho, Rashford. Evan Nilsson gets his start on his debut and Tony Martial. If we lose here, I think the supporters will stab me and I will be sacked and carried out in a body bag. So I need to make sure we get a win here today. Otherwise, we're gone. 18 minutes in and we have not created a thing so far. Evan Nilsson is going to press up on Lorente with Rashford as well. Need to try and box him in here and win that ball back. That whole space there is horrible. I do not like that in the slightest. Teams just seem to... look absolutely blow us away with the ball over the top. Martinez and Varane just seem to get done from that pass so, so often. It really is frustrating. Um, Evan Nilsson seems to be pressing like a madman, which I like a lot. This ball's going to go over the top, isn't it? Varane, well done. Poor touch from Bamford. Wan-Bissaka finds Sancho. Managed to find out of space. Varane back into De Gea. Just play it to Martinez. Nice. Let's go, nice. Build an attack. Or not. Let's give them the ball. And Sinister is through, and that's 1 0. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh my god, my job right there was on the line. How on earth? What do I do? I might change something early because we are. Look at them stats against Leeds. This is embarrassing. Um, I'm going to drop. Oh, not that. I'm going to drop Casemiro into here. I'm going to take Sancho there. I'm going to play Sancho in the 10, actually. Get you in there. And Sancho's going to be a playmaker for me. I'm going to have you as a box-to-box -box midfield. Uh, you as a Metzala on support. I'm going to get Rashford out and put Ericsson in centre mid early. Something needs to change. It needs to change right now because we are not playing good enough. I'm actually going to have Sancho as a Turquista, as a Cam. That is wild what I have just done. But something needs to change urgently. Come on then. Don't let him out of there. Is that Martial tracking back? I think it is. Wambasaka for Rand. Just get the ball down. Why have you done that? Why have you done that? Why have you done that, Varan? I swear these players are trying to play me out of a job, and it is, it is impossible to get out of what is going on right now. I have absolutely no idea what is happening. They don't react to anything. I berate them. They're not happy. I say they're rubbish. They're not happy. Oh, my God. I've got to say, throwing the water ball has never worked. I just don't know what to do. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm looking at this tactic screen. It's the 61st minute. We've had three shots all game, and I've got absolutely no idea how to change this around. Do we go asymmetrical again? We've got the players to do it. Bring Maguire in for Varane because he's so tired. Bruno's so tired and he's in danger of being booked and he's very frustrated. You're frustrated, Bruno. I'm about to get sacked, sunshine. 
Edward Nielsen's going to lead the line. I think that's it, but I don't know what to do. I don't think this is going to do anything. We're going to go with it. We're going to change it up because we are being outworked, outperformed, everything here by Leeds. We have got a highlight straight away. Please. They don't want me in a job. Oh, my God. Look, Lucha, I love you. I absolutely love Martinez, but he has been awful. For corner, four leads. Jack Harrison. Case wins it. Manasha gets out. Harrison still on the ball. He's going to put this top bins. Oh, my God. Hey, I thank you. I might... I've... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um... Oh, my God. Elanga, can you come on and try something for me, mate? Just get him behind. You press him like crazy, Evan Nelson. We can't even draw, I don't think. I'd get sacked for a draw. We might as well go for it. I've got no idea what these formations are at this point. I'm going full wild. Trying to get some gaps, create some spaces. It's a lead highlight. Cleek on the ball. Supporting behind from Kieldo. Maguire does control it nicely. He finds the Gea. Martinez, Case, Sancho, a bit of space. Ball over the top. Elanga, just do it. Oh, Elanga, just getting behind him. It's a long ball to Rodrigo. Martinez does win the header. Eriksen finds Sancho. Elanga in behind, doesn't get there again. Leeds build out and Cleek. He's going to find a ball behind. Malash has done well, but it's going to go behind again. It's not. It's good pressing. Evan Nilsson, play a ball. Anthony Elanga, the hero. Anthony Elanga is the hero. It's not going to be enough. We need to carry on going. We just seem to create more chances of two up front, but we need to find a formation where it does actually work. Um, they've also gone two up top. I think I'm going to drop Case into centre-back, put Wambasaka there, have Eriksen holding in the middle. I'm going wild. The job is going to be saved. Malasia wins the ball. Sancho, Elanga, Case, a ball to Anthony. Cutting on your left, Anthony. Oh, I thought Anthony had it. I thought he stuck it in. Three and a half minutes to go. It's a lead highlight. Anthony wins the header. Get out to him. It's a ball back stick. Sinistero's going to win it. No, he's not. De Gea claims. Makes him get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Makes a movement. De Gea with a ball. Evan Nilsson. Oh, he's not done it. He's not done it. Rocker in behind. Maguire. What are you doing? Malassia. Evan Nilsson. Oh, someone win the ball. Wambasaka. No one's there. Why have I done this? Anthony. Oh, my God. Chaos, absolute chaos this game. What's happened? Oh, I thought he just dropped the ball in his own net. Uh, we're going to go long into space. Nice and fast. Overlap, overlap. Hit the balls in the box. Get it nice and wide. We're going to counter and we're going to distribute over the opposition defence for Evan Nilsson. Oh, it's a one-all draw. Oh, it's a one-all draw. I'm going to keep you guys with me because I think... This could be the end. I'm not going to do the press conference. It's the 5th, I believe, is the day. Uh, two days left. Yeah, the 5th. We need to keep the job. I've just got rid of Ronaldo as well. I've got a few people on the loan list and the transfer list. Two days to go to save the job. Uh, Hannibal is waiting on contract talks. Hannibal, I actually want to bring back. But I'm not sure I can. If I can, I will. I can't. He looks fantastic well in this year's game. Hannibal Medry, definitely one to look out for. Uh, Wambasaka, that is absolutely fine. I'm not interested. Um, I don't think you're a great player. And I'd rather have Diego Dallo and a new right back anyway. We've got Leeds in the quarterfinal of the Carabao, but I just don't think that it's going to be enough. Ronaldo has gone back to Real Madrid as well for 3.1 million. Um, that is wild. Real Madrid have brought him in. Excited to see what he can do. I love Ronnie, but it had to be done. He had to go, and he's been banished. But has it cost me my job? I think the next, as soon as it ticks to that fifth, we're going to get a message from Avram Glazer. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, please keep the job. Where is it? Uh, Gonacho is going out to Sheffield United on loan for an important player. Um, 
it's today. It says succeeded. I if I've kept my job for ha- oh my god. The emotions of football manager. How on earth have I just kept my job? I have fumbled through the worst we're 14th in the league. The Glazers hate Manu. <laughs> they absolutely hate him. Why have they kept me in the job? Why have they done that? That is wild. I'm going to bring you guys back for the Leeds game. And hopefully, I'm going to try and get another transfer in as well. I'll bring you back for the Leeds game. We'll skip this Cambridge game. We'll probably lose that as well. But hopefully, Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Leeds, we will win him. It's been a, uh, a good half hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour since I last put the camera on. I have been trying to make some sense of how I am in the job, trying to somehow um, work out a tactic where we're going to be able to get something going. Um, I've managed to put a few offers in for players. I will show you that after this game. Today, the legend Steve Bruce is hoping, hosting the FA Cup fourth round draw. Obviously, we have got Leeds today. Um, in that game, so it will be us or Leeds. Uh, we're just going to see who we're going to get. Newcastle, Forest, Burnley, Liverpool, Everton, Huddersfield, Bournemouth, Arsenal, Rotherham, Chelsea, Wolves, Blackpool, Sunderland, Tottenham, Preston, Wigan, Brighton, uh, Peterborough, Man City. I bet it's us. Leeds, I think. Uh... Oh, we beat Cambridge in the FA Cup. Ignore me. I'm in the Carabao. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's fine. Culture to Bromley. Uh, Leicester, Rochdale, Coventry, Norwich, Reading, uh, Southampton, Villa. There's only six teams left. Barrow, Blackburn, Ipswich, uh, Crystal Palace, us, QPR, Shrewsbury or West Brom. It is Barrow against West Brom. Blackburn, Ipswich against QPR, Shrewsbury, which means Man United at home against Crystal Palace and all Premier League draw. Let's show you what I've been up to then. I have got work permits confirmed for Diogo Costa to come in as my goalkeeper. I don't think De Gea is really the massive issue, but Costa is a fantastic goalkeeper and is actually really, really good. Um, De Gea is a fantastic shot stopper. Costa's better at distribution. He's more eccentric. His communication is better. His mental is better. De Gea's speed doesn't matter because he doesn't come out of the box. His physical doesn't matter because he doesn't come out of the box. So shot stopping is basically the same. He can actually distribute a ball so he can play from the back. Uh, the other side I've signed is Nikola Zalewski. Uh, this is a transfer of around 25 million rising to 32. Diego Costa is 52 million. That is his release clause. Um, Zalewski is someone that I've gone for purely based off his um, versatility. Uh, he could be left back and obviously next year we're going to be getting rid of Luke Shaw. So he could be our left back. He could be a wing back if we switch to a five back. Uh, if we go to a three back, he could be the left mid or in the asymmetric, he can also be the left mid. And he can do the left wing job as well, similar to what Jaden Sancho does. Um, if I show you the tactic I've made, it is really he's going to be here where Alanga is. Or I'm going to convert him into a Cariello on support like I have with Dallo. Um, I've trained Dallo to do this job. Um, I'm going to bring in someone for that job. And in fact, you can see the man I'm looking at is Alexis McAllister. As a carry yellow on support, he looks very good. He's asked to be transferred for 27 million. Um, he's coming in for that fee. Uh, it, it all went really well. And he is a very good player. Look at his report. Nothing bad, really. Nothing bad at all. His jumping reach isn't the best. Full understanding of the language, natural multiple positions, ability to pick a pass, very good technique. He is fantastic in all the XG charts. He's consistent, he loves big matches, and he's a fairly professional guy, which is good. Um, he tries killer balls often, he shoots from distance, plays one twos, arrive late in the opponent's box. And in this formation, I think that'll work quite well. Um, uh, this is a completely wild formation to me. I've also gone to a counter-attacking style of play. Um, this is literally just an attempt to get something to work because nothing else will work at the moment. Um, but we have got Leeds today away at Ellen Road. Obviously, we just about managed to scrape a draw in the last game we played against Leeds. The board and supporters are expecting a win. Um, the board may have kept me on the job. It's only a D, and the supporters hate me. They still absolutely hate me. So I have to get a result here, and we'll be trying out this formation. De Gea is going to play in goal. It's going to be Lindelof, Maguire, Martinez. Um, I'm going to play Varane over Maguire. Um, we're going to put uh, Evan Nilsson up top. 
Uh, left wing is going to be James Sancho. Right wing is going to be Anthony. And uh, the midfield, Donny worked quite well their last game. Um, I'm going to keep him in there. I'm going to play Fred as the right-sided. Casemiro is going to come in and DM for McTominay. Um, and then Malasia is also going to make the bench for Wan-Bissaka because he could possibly play a Cariello role as well. Um, Dallo has been quite good. We'll keep that there. Sort the bench out a little bit. We'll get Shaw off for Christian Eriksen. Um, Eriksen's actually going to play over Fred. We'll have Eriksen in that Cariello role. And see what the Leeds team is. Because hopefully it's a bunch of kids that we can beat in the Carabao Cup. It's not. It's the same sort of team. It's Meslier, Christensen, Cock, Cooper, Furpo, Adams, Rocker, Rodrigo, Aronson, Harrison and Bamford. This formation's got to work. Something's got to work. Because nothing else is. Um, I'm going to point the finger and say... I expect a victory here, and I'm going to get them all to have faith in each other. We need a victory. Um, I'm going to send the assistant to that. I always mess it up. It's in the Carabao. Let's go get a big victory and get through to the semis of the Carabao Cup. It's been a fairly even game so far for the first half an hour, which you'd sort of expect at Ellen Road. Um, we need to try and get on the ball now. And Lucha as a wide centre-back. I'm hoping it's going to be much, much better. Uh, De Gea tries a long ball forward to Anthony, who does win the flick on. But Meslier is going to bring that out. He finds Sancho. who Van der Beek finds Anthony. I think he might just be offside. He's not going to call it just yet. Anthony's going to beat his man. He's going to cut it on the left foot. And Evan Nielsen with his first goal for United. The supporters and the fans, uh, the supporters and the board were not sure if Evan Nielsen could replace Ronaldo. I think he can. And he has just scored a decent goal. He wasn't playing that good before then. But he's got his goal. And hopefully that can breed some confidence into man. He needs it. Um, it's a long ball forward from Leeds, and Varane is there to intercept. We look very solid, I've got to say. Um, Ericsson finds Anthony. Evan Nielsen trying to go in behind Cock. He's not quite managed it. Sancho's there to dispossess. Bruno finds Anthony, and that is two, and he is not offside. <sighs> Have we found something? Maybe three back is the way this year. Um, two strikers doesn't need to work too well. Wingers aren't amazing. 4-2-3-1, um, 4-1-2-1-2 doesn't need to work, so you get bullied out wide. Maybe three back is it. And Ericsson pressing very well there. Finds ball behind two. Evan Nielsen, who's one-on-one. -on -one, and Mesley over. Good save. He is offside. I think this is going to get us into half-time. And I'm very, very happy with how this set, uh, this first half has gone. Um, I'm going to tell him that as well. Because you're doing brilliantly. Keep up the good work. And let's go and get into the semi-final. The, the, set, the teams left in the Carabao Cup. City aren't there. And neither are Liverpool. So it's ours to lose. We really should win the Carabao Cup this year. And it'll be fantastic to get our first silverware on the board. Donny van der Beek is battling with Bamford, who is playing deep. Finds Robin Cock. It's good press there at the front. It's very good press. We look much more solid. If you just pause this here, you can really see you've got the back three, CDM, three centre mids, left wing, right wing striker. We look much, much more solid. Everyone has got a man. There is no one there free. The midfield, he's got two on him. It seems to work very well. It seems to cover space as well. So I'm actually quite happy with how this is going to go so far. What on earth has happened there? Uh, what on earth just happened? Have I gone way, way too far? Christians, what are you doing? Everyone tried an offside trap, but Lindelof. I don't even think offside trap's on. Oh my God, that was wild. I have never seen him do that before. And it is Rodrigo in behind from that high press. And he's bagged it. Offside has gone up. Is he offside? I'm not too sure. It is being checked by VAR. The line out did flag it. And the goal has been disallowed, thankfully. I need to check whether offside trap is on. Um, I'm not even sure if it's a thing anymore, actually. Um, step up more is not on. And that is what offside trap is. So that was just a random bug in the game. Um, that's what you get with beta saves. So I'm not too... You know, I'm not like going to be really, really annoyed if we do sort of fail in this save. It is the beta. Um, it is here to test the game. But as well, I'd love to get far with United. I never do a Man U save. Absolutely never. Um, so it's really good to actually play with them um, and actually see how we're going to work. Obviously, in real life, we're doing quite well last uh, now. Uh, last night, we drew one on with Chelsea in a much-deserved draw. Um, Anthony nearly scoring there. Probably could have scored as well, hit the post last night, which was frustrating. But we are going to make a few changes. I'm going to bring on Dallo in this right centre mid spot on the Cariello. Um, and I'm going to bring it on Zidane for Bruno to get him a break. Elanga is going to come on for Sancho. 
Um, and that might be it for now. It is for now. We've still got our two subs and our two opportunities to bring them subs on if we need to make changes. Uh, Messier is going to play out the back and find Furpo, but Anthony tracks very, very well. So ball in behind there. There's two free at the back post. He's gone near post, and that is a fantastic goal from Mateus Click. That is a really, really nice finish. Um, I'm going to demand more from the boys and drop into a cautious style of play. That's a great finish from Mateus Click. Uh, there's one ball in behind at Lindelof, and there was space. Uh, there's a dance press very well there, and Anthony has picked the ball up. Anthony, now can he find a pass into Evan Ilse? He's going to go alone, and it's a good tip over the bar from Elan Meslier. It's going to be an end-to-end -end game, I think, this last 12, 13 minutes. We've added time. Anthony's going to whip the ball in here. And it's going to go to a Leeds head. Iqbal is going to pick the ball up. He finds Anthony with a fantastic pass. And Anthony! He's offside anyway, but that is not the best strike. For the last couple of minutes, then, I'm going to drag back Dallo into that spot there. I'm going to bring on Malassia, and we are going to bring on a centre mid. We're going to bring on Fred in this midfield role here. Just drop back into a five-back play, nice and cautious, and see this game out. We really do not want to lose this now. Just two minutes to go, and that is the game. Fantastic, if he ever blows the whistle. Fantastic. We seem to be through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. It's a rivalry win. It was needed. We've not been that good this season. And scraping results like that seems to be all we really can do. A Carabao Cup quarter-final. So it's us, Brentford, West Ham or Villa and Palace or Sheffield United. That is shocking if we do not win this. Obviously, West Ham batted us 5-0 last time we played them. But hopefully that was just a one-off and we can go out there and get a decent victory. But today, guys, that is going to be it from me. I'm going to send the assistant to this. And I'm going to play through and see where we're going to come to next. Um, it's probably going to be the back end of this January transfer window. I'll probably get everything done before. The Carabao Cup semi-final is going to be on the deadline day, which is quite exciting. And then we've got Liverpool just after in February. We are going to play quite a few then. We're going to got Bournemouth, Newcastle, uh, Spurs, the double header of the semi final of the Carabao, Newcastle and Palace. So I've got a lot of games to play. Um, so I will speak to you guys soon. This is being recorded on Sunday night. This episode should come out Monday, 5 p.m. Um, this weekend, the support has been absolutely mental from every single one of you so i am so so thankful make sure to smash a like on this video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content content is going to be daily throughout the beta and then probably five days a week when the beta is finished and it's the full game so make sure to subscribe to stay for fm23 content all year round like the video comment on how your save is going down below and i'll speak to you all next time